outdoor mask wearing, protective gear, social distancing, plexiglass, and several days of isolation. Guidance for COVID-19 has evolved. Almost four years after the virus was declared a pandemic, the CDC is now treating it as any other respiratory virus. We wanted to provide folks an easy um, and uh, understandable way to protect themselves. As expected, the CDC today simplified its COVID guidance by dropping the five-day isolation period, similar to what is recommended for the flu, RSV, and other respiratory viruses. You want to stay home until you're starting to feel better for at least 24 hours, that your fever is free for 24 hours, and that your symptoms are improving for 24 hours. For the following five days, the CDC recommends taking the following precautions. Wear a well-fitted mask, keep distance from others, get tested, enhance hygiene practices, and take steps for cleaner air. And most importantly, the CDC says, stay up to date on vaccines. The agency says people over 65 are due for another booster. In an era when the vaccine uptake is less and less, uh, I think that we have yet to see how this will play out in terms of infections. Dr. Mark Sala is the co-director of Northwestern Medicine's comprehensive COVID-19 center. He is concerned about how the updated guidance will affect older people, the immunocompromised, and people who develop long COVID. I think honestly that you're going to get the trade-off that you might expect, where more people may get infections in situations where they wouldn't have before. The CDC made its decision based on decreases in COVID hospitalizations and deaths. Some Illinoisans support the updated guidance. Others are worried. I'm afraid a little because I have upper respiratory issues. So if they're dropping that, which means that people can come into work, correct, with COVID. So I'm afraid. We just need to get back to as normal as we can and, and just uh, live with it like we live with all other illnesses and flus and colds and, and such. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's time. The updated CDC guidance only applies to community settings. There are no changes in guidance when it comes to respiratory viruses in healthcare settings. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.